we are going to be celebrating National Pie Day, but that's P-I, and I have here Chef Michael, who is going to explain exactly what that means. Welcome, Chef. <laughs> Thank you. This is uh, exciting because Pie Day is something to celebrate, I think, for everyone. Uh -huh. Whether you're a mathematician or not, you can explain always... Explain a little bit what Pi is. <laughs> pi, to me, is uh, talking about numbers. So it's actually the natural number to looking at different phenomena in our nature in our world. So 3.14159, I can keep going. And it's an <laughs> infinite number that describes a lot of different processes uh, within nature, within uh, reproduction, kind of a variety of systems. Now this is the interesting thing about this. You are basically a nerd. You can see this man on Big Bang Theory, but he's also a chef. He has been on... I was on MasterChef Canada. And you came in and I came in third, three, which is great, <laughs> the magic number three, yeah. and you love to cook. You've given up your career as uh, you were going for your... Uh, My PhD in computational science, which is where I was going towards, looking at biological right. phenomena. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can do two plus two. Yeah, it's four. It's four. <laughs> but this is wonderful. And we're going to be celebrating National Pie Day. And I think this is wonderful because you are going to apply your sciences and your, your, your mathematics to the perfect pie crust. And tell us a little bit about what makes a perfect pie crust. A perfect pie crust is all about ratio. So it's three parts flour, mm -hmm. two parts fat, and one part water. What kind of fat do you like to use? I like butter, but I also like shortening. I have a vegetable shortening crust here. You can use lard. You can even use vegan items like coconut oils and things oh, like that too. I didn't know that. Yeah. The interesting thing about the different fat you choose is that as you cook it and you bake it into the can or the, as you bake it into the crust, mm -hmm. what ends up happening is the different bits of fat, whatever you choose, start to bubble and melt. And that creates all of these delicious little crispy bits in the crust. Wow. And that's how you get flakiness and you get that unbelievable crispy flaky crust that no everyone's after. No wonder you love to bake and cook and everything. But with everything you do, you apply science. I do. Which is amazing. You have the best of both worlds. Absolutely. I really love harnessing my scientific side of my brain. And wow. I think that that's something that a lot of people strive to try to do, to think critically, to think analytically. And when I look at anything that I do, I'm constantly trying to find a better way to do it. Wow. Show us this pie crust. Yes. Now, this is one you made. When did you make this? I just made this yesterday. Okay. Just to store it in the fridge overnight. So this is actually a vegetable uh, shortening Okay. Uh, that I turned into a pie crust. And what you like to see here is kind of how it stays really nicely together here. And it's still quite soft, so it's a little bit pliable. Uh -huh. So which means that as I incorporate different flowers to roll it out, I can cut it into different shapes, I can mold it around different pies, I can do kind of a variety of different things with it. Um, and that's what you're looking for in a proper crust, is kind of versatility. Versatility mm -hmm. and pliability and also, you know, you can't, you can't really make a mistake with a good pie crust. You can correct a few things. Exactly, and I think that's where that ratio comes into play. So you're looking at three parts flour, mm -hmm. two parts of some sort of fat, okay. and then cold, cold ice water. Oh, the key. Okay, that's oh. a key because that part, that's the science, that's the chemical reaction. You don't want to melt the fat. Okay, you want course. the fat to melt once it's baking and that creates the crispy crust. So you want to be very delicate, not overworking it with your hands. You want to use really ice cold water to mm -hmm. keep everything intact and you want to get a really nice smooth crust. So I've cut across this so you can, so you see, can see it. how nice and smooth that is. And I notice that you also get very, very creative. So you've created all yes. sorts of neat things here. Let's see if we can show that. So for me, I like to bake, but mm -hmm. I am not a world-class baker by any means. Well, that's and so, good stuff here. <laughs> so I like to set myself up for success. That's yes. what I call cooking for me. Okay. So I've created having these kind of frozen pie crust shapes oh. so that anyone at home can kind of be a decorative master. Wow. So this is an example of what I've done up here. It's These are beautiful. all different little bits and shapes here. I've got little flower petals. I have some leaves, just different circle cuts, edge shapes. And you can design, and it takes you from being that at-home baker to that wow. fancy, wow, world-class. Put that in the table, and everyone's going to stop and stare. That's amazing. Tell me, what are your favorite pies? My favorite pies? Uh, raspberry. Raspberry pie wow. is my favorite pie. Really? Yeah, and that has been a birthday selection of mine for my mom for years. It's amazing. Years. Um, I also really like strawberry pies, uh -huh. which is something that some people are into, not everyone. Um, and blueberry, apple, all kinds of fruits. All the fruit pies. I'm into all of them. I kind of like lemon meringue myself. Lemon meringue is one of those it's ones. It's such a girly thing. <laughs> <laughs> my sister loves lemon meringue pie. That's her go-to for sure. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Chef Michael, this has been so uh, incredible and so much fun. So when is National Pie Day? National Pie Day is on 3.14 or, or March, March 14th. 14th. So um, 
yeah, everybody check out National Pie Day. Go find some pie, eat some pie, pizza pie, whatever you want. <laughs> and what's your website? Uh, chefmichaelg.ca, and you can check out recipes on this kind of stuff, as well as look at our private events and kind of varieties of things that we do. Sounds like a lot of fun, and we're going to yeah. be making pie. Thanks for joining us today.